Hey everyone, it's John Reed, author of 50 Things to See with the Telescope. Welcome to the Homeschool Astronomy Challenge series. In this video, we are going to learn to identify the prominent summer constellations that you can observe while looking toward the south. This is Learn to Stargaze. So you may be wondering why we have summer constellations or winter constellations. It's really quite simple. Here we have the Earth in the summer on one side of the sun. When we go stargazing at night, we observe constellations in this direction. The constellations in the other direction are blocked by the sun. Six months later, the Earth is on the other side of the sun. When we go stargazing at night, we observe the stars over here. As you recall, if you're living up here in the northern hemisphere, the stars to the north are always visible and the stars in the southern sky are always blocked by the Earth. For those of us living up here in the northern hemisphere, these constellations rise in the southeast and set in the southwest. They're visible in the evening sky from about mid-June to mid-September. There are really only two star patterns that are important to recognize and memorize. First, we have the teapot, which is an asterism in the constellation Sagittarius. Then we have Maui's fishhook, which is an asterism named for the demigod in Hawaiian mythology. The fishhook is in the constellation Scorpius. That bright red star in Scorpius is called Antares, and we'll talk about it in a future video. Sagittarius and Scorpius are important to stargazers because they both intersect the plane of our Milky Way galaxy. This is the most interesting part of the sky to observe in dark skies and with binoculars and small telescopes because of the vast amount of star clusters and nebula within. For example, in dark skies, even without a telescope, you should be able to observe M7, Ptolemy star cluster, M22, a globular cluster, M24, the Sagittarius star cloud, and M8, the Lagoon Nebula. Other summer constellations to our south include Capricornus, Libra, Scutum, Ophiuchus, and a few others, but these star patterns are more difficult to identify. If you're following along in the 50 things to see with the telescope activity workbook, these constellations are found on page 25. First, trace the constellations with a pencil, then go out at night and see the constellations with your eyes. No telescope required. Check the appropriate boxes to record your observations. I hope you enjoy learning about the summer constellations. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And remember, the future is looking up.